Hi guys! Welcome back to the Bluegrass Kids. You know on my channel I did a Harry Potter ranking the books? Right now, I'm going to do that again. I have new thoughts. New thoughts about it. Um, some might be the same, but I have new thoughts. Uh, so we're going to get um, straight into ranking the Harry Potter um, books for the second time. Um, uh, because, uh, I have new thoughts. It was four months ago when I, three months ago when I, no, four months ago when I did the last one. Uh, now I have new thoughts because I've read them over and over. I've read them, like, maybe seven times already. But, like, I have new thoughts now. There's things I didn't notice. But, like, I have new thoughts now. So let's get started. In my number seven spot is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now, it makes sense to be in my number seven spot. It's just a lot of mystery. And, you know, Professor Lockhart is annoying. That makes it, that makes it really not that good. Um, um, that makes it not that good. Um, and, uh, it's really not that I mean, it's genius, but, like, you know, when I first read it, it's really good when I first read it, but not anymore, because it's kind of, uh, you know, not that good anymore, because, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's getting a little darker, but it's just not that good for me. Getting on to number six. Okay, this is a bit awkward. I just said number six, and this is number six in the series, but whatever, okay. It's just, this one is not, mm, I don't know how to explain this, but it's just really sad and heartbreaking, and it's just a setup for the um, seventh book, um, and it's just not very, the movie is way off. It's not that good. The Dumbledore, spoilers. Dumbledore's death, the dark mark. Draco is a death eater. Snape killed Dumbledore. Why? I actually know why. Because <laughs> Dumbledore is still to learn. <laughs> but that's why Hapla Prince is my number six spot. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you get mad at me, I, I, I have to just apologize for this. It's just not that good, okay? There's no Voldemort in there, too. That's, that's sad. Really sad. <laughs> But, uh, it's, I, I literally, I mean, the time travel thing is good, but it's just not like that, like, I know there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things, but this book is I'm at my number five spot because it's. Where's number four? <laughs> I'm looking for it. Just a second. Just a second. Number four. Okay. It's number five. So it's the number five spot because it's like really dark. That's the word. Dark. And it's just a bit. Wobble gobble for me, and the mentors are scary, and all sort of that stuff. That's why it's my number five spot. Yeah, to number four. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. In my last ranking video, this used to be my favorite one, but now it's like not that good. I <laughs> hate Umbridge so awful. much. Oh my god. I mean, like Umbridge. 
Don't even get me started on that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, the part of it I missed read the series of Black's Death. That's pretty good. That was really great, great written, but like, this book, yay! A bridge. A bridge. A bridge. Oh, jeez, a bridge. Number three is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. When Voldemort dies and Harry does, but he comes back to life. <laughs> and never was the real hero. That's why I hate this about this book. I read, read, read these books because I liked Harry. And he really didn't to really defeat Voldemort. Neville did, so <laughs> this is going in the trash. I'm just kidding. It's not. I'm going to keep these forever. But <laughs> I don't like Neville that much. And though he was like the real hero, he destroyed the last Horcrux. No! Half of the, the movie, part two, was literally the Battle of Hogwarts. I think the second half of this book is the Battle of Hogwarts. I think. <laughs> you know, I have two more books left. Because this is my number three. Let's get on to number two. Part of the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, I'm calling Philosopher now. Sorcerer. Sorcerers. Yes, I'm calling it Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Sorcerers. Um, sor sorcerers. Um, it's too childish. I know they're older than me. They're 11, but... Um... <laughs> I'm only eight years old. Okay. Almost t nine. But anyways, this book it's yeah, eleven year olds. I don't understand eleven year olds. Actually they're kinda of like me. I just don't like it. Don't like it. It's too childish for me. Even though I'm younger than them, I still try this. Seven-year-old stuff. Let's get on to my favorite book. This is my number second spot, so you probably know what my num my favorite one is. Put your name in the Goblet of Fire. This is my favorite book. Uh, my last ranking video, um, Goblet of Fire was low on the list no it was high on the list so that means it wasn't that good or the phoenix was my favorite one last time not anymore and gobble fire i'm like last time gobble fire was like this is a really bad book what well, was wrong with me it's the best book in the whole entire series it's super good like bruh it's the best thing in the world. Thanks. I love this book. <gasps> Thanks for watching. Stay a Potterhead. Harry Potter are the best books ever.